If he decides that he's going to run, would that preclude any sort of run that you would possibly make yourself? I would not run as President Trump ran. I don't put up with bullies. And when you kick back, it hurts them more if you're wearing heels. I'm Nikki Haley, and I'm running for president. Times change, and so has Trump. He's gotten more unstable and unhinged. Biden has been a catastrophe. So I will be voting for Trump. So first, she <laughs> would not run against him. Then she oh. did three Wait, months Mika, ago. Hold on. I'm, hold on. I have I'm a so list. shocked. I'm so shocked. Oh, we okay. want to hear your list. Yeah, Please. it's a list. It's like I'm checking it yeah. off. So she wouldn't okay. run against him. Then she did. Three months ago, he was too unhinged to get a driver's license. And mm. now Two Nikki... Wouldn't. Yeah. Now Nikki Haley yeah. will vote for Donald Trump for president of the United States. Good I mean, morning, Willie, everybody. this is what... This is one of those... I'm shocked, shocked. I mean, she's <laughs> done this over and over again, right? Yeah. And And... I will say that, the, let's just say right off the top, this happens in politics. I mean, you know, uh, people say nasty things right. about other people when they're running the against primary. for president, and then and then they then they come together. I do think, though, everybody has to make a choice. And in 2024, you know, Nikki Haley could have made the choice that a lot of conservative Republicans have made. I'm going to be talking to Charlie Sykes about that <laughs> in a little bit. And that is, you know what? stay conservative and don't go along with the authoritarian don't go along with the guy that wants to amass more power in the white house and more power in washington dc than any president in american history um so her choice is is support an authoritarian and, and the guy who's promised he's going to be an authoritarian and i could go down the list but he's promising yeah. it every day Vote for me, Donald Trump says, and I will be a menace to American democracy. And of course, Nikki Haley basically hinted at that and, uh, and, and also called him a bully, said he was unstable, said he was unhinged, too unhinged to get a driver's license, as Mika said. And now it's like, oh, Biden, he's a disaster. I love when they start talking about how Biden's a disaster and they really can't name anything. They go, oh, student loans. It's so horrible. And they compare student loans with people trying to overthrow American democracy, understanding how, don't, not understanding just how out of it and how stupid they feel. They don't call Joe Biden a socialist or a Marxist or a communist with the Dow over 40,000, with the economy stronger than it's ever been. And again, them not realizing just how stupid they sound, but you know, everybody, uh, everybody's got to choose. Uh, and she has chosen. And unlike a lot of good conservatives uh, she's chosen the authoritarian leader so let her go with that and and it's it's on her not us yeah and by the way she could make the choice that so many of her own supporters have been making in these primaries by not voting for donald trump not saying that i love joe biden but saying i'm not willing to take the country down the road of donald trump again which we're seeing in primary after primary she's getting 15 percent 20 percent on a campaign that she shut down a couple of months ago a campaign that she ended by quoting margaret thatcher and saying never just follow the crowd suggesting i'm not going to just uh, fall in line with donald trump i'm never going to fall in line with donald trump and now here she is in a move that as you say joe seemed inevitable to most people. Uh, remember, she called him unhinged several times. He used a birther attack on her. She, he went after her husband, who's deployed in the United States military overseas, asking, where's the husband? Well, he was defending the country uh, right. around the world. None of that seems to matter. You can go back to Ted Cruz and Marco Rubio. Mm -hmm. We've had this conversation a thousand times. It just doesn't matter. But even take out the personal stuff. And as you guys point out, we're not talking about is it Joe Biden or John McCain? Is it Joe Biden or Mitt Romney? Is it Joe Biden or George Bush? We're talking about a guy who has promised to undermine the foundations of this country and has already attempted to do so in our last election.
Yeah, I mean, she could have waited perhaps for a moment to come her way with all the different dynamics in this election. You never know, but she's chosen you never know. to go with Trump. No. Along with Joe, Willie, and me, we have the host of Way Too Early White House Bureau Chief at Politico, Jonathan Lemire, the president of the National Action Network and host of MSNBC's Politics Nation, Reverend Al Sharpton, NBC News National Affairs Analyst John Heilman. He's a partner and chief political columnist at Puck. Former White House Director of Communications to President Obama, Jennifer Palmieri. She's co-host of the MSNBC podcast, How to Win 2024 with Claire McCaskill. And MSNBC contributor and author of the book, How the Right Lost Its Mind, Charlie Sykes. So here we are, and here is more of what Nikki Haley said yesterday in her first public appearance since exiting the race back in March, followed by what she was saying about Trump during the primary. I put my priorities on a president who's going to have the backs of our allies and hold our enemies to account, who would secure the border, no more excuses, a president who would support capitalism and freedom, a president who understands we need less debt, not more debt, Trump has not been perfect on these policies. I've made that clear many, many times. But Biden has been a catastrophe. So I will be voting for Trump. Having said that, I stand by what I said in my suspension speech. Trump would be smart to reach out to the millions of people who voted for me and continue to support me and not assume that they're just going to be with him. And I genuinely hope he does that. You, you know, I, I, it, that is one of the re most remarkably unmoored from facts description on why you're voting for Donald Trump I've ever heard. My, I, I mean, it, it is... It is mind-boggling that somebody who actually claims to know anything about policy would say what she just said. Like I said, I'm not shocked that she's cynical. She's been cynical her, her entire political career. It doesn't shock me she went back to Trump. But you're going to have to do a lot better than that, Nikki. I mean, let you hold our enemies to account? Uh, hold our enemies to account? You know, John Heilman, uh, let a, where do we begin when, when we talk about how he, he lavishes praise on Vladimir Putin. Trump lavishes praise on President Xi. Sends, quote, love letters to Kim Jong-un. He loves our enemies. He loves the tyrants that hate the United States of America to their very core. What is she talking about? She's so, you, Joe Biden has hemmed in China in the Pacific. We've seen it. We've talked about it. It's, it's, it's a part of the historical record. He's leading the effort to push back Vladimir Putin, where Donald Trump says, basically, turn it over. I'm going to end this war in day one and called Putin brilliant for what he did. And, and yes, he said he has a love affair with Kim Jong-un, the most ruthless tyrant who wants to nuke the West Coast of the United States of America. So hold our enemies to account. That is completely a, a, a fact free garbage. And then you go to supporting capitalism. Let me say again, the Dow is over 40,000 points. If Rishi Sunak had the economy in Britain that we have here, he would be in much better shape on July the 4th, when the next election is called. We have, and conservative economists will say this, and columnists will say, this, we have the strongest economy in the world. There's not a close second. We are the envy of the world. And so somehow Donald Trump is gonna do better than that, throwing up tariffs and protective borders that even the Wall Street Journal calls you know, a, a nightmare. And then finally, the one that, again, because I got the Congress because I was worried about the national debt, 
She says, Joe Biden's been a disaster on the national debt. So she's going to support Donald Trump. Donald Trump, in four years, raised America's national debt. More, just him, 45, than presidents one through 44 did over 240 years. I mean, th- I mean, think about this. Think about just how wrong. So we were supposed to play back-to-back clips. We were supposed to play those clips and then what she said in the campaign. I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is how people spread disinformation and lies and get away with it, where you just let shit keep going. Sometimes you need to stop things and just explain how big her lies were there. She lied about the economy. She lied about debt. Just look, just it's a, just look at the numbers. She lied through her teeth about debt. And she lied about Donald Trump holding our enemies accountable when he actually praises our enemies and sends love letters to them and talk, talks about how brilliant they are because mm-hmm. they can hold down millions and millions of their countrymen and women. I'll let you go from there. I'm just, I'm seriously, I, I, I'm not shocked at the endorsement. I am shocked at, that she would sink so low so fast and just lie about the facts as badly as she did. Mm-hmm. Morning, Joe. How are you? Um, I, it seems like I'm, the, doing, I'm doing well. How are you Rudy doing? Coffee, the Rudy coffee is flowing. No, mm-hmm. no. I mean, you if are. you're not shocked by that, John, I know it's very I funny. Am- ha, ha, ha. But if you're <laughs> not shocked by her lying through her teeth that way, like she could have picked three or four other issues. She could have talked about Afghanistan. She could have talked about inflation. She could have talked about two or three, the, the cost of gasoline. But she picks these three things where she she actually picks Donald Trump on policy his weak